Um, boys and girls, they're all ages. <laughs> I really love that channel. And that's a really good channel. That's why I started this channel because he inspired me to be a good fisherman and he really make a good videos. Well, guys, today we're coming to foraging a little bit. We're gonna walk in through the woods again. If I can fish, I fish. If I'm not, it's fine. Some of the situation in this reserve where is you have to pay a permit. I already paid like a fine and nice something. Anyway, so I already paid, but some of the shoreline, unfortunately, it's, you, you cannot fish and they got it like a, some kind of sign style. I, I'll show you on the way there. So uh, we're gonna walk through the forest today. We're gonna look for something special. When I was younger and I was living in Hagerstown, that was my, that that is my my townhouse over there. That's like a, my city, my city, uh, like, I don't have to explain my, my city house, I was uh, I was there a long time ago, I was living there for a long time ago and I really guys, I can tell you one thing guys, that city is uh, good memories and bad memories for me when I was younger, I think for everybody it's like that, everyone wanted to use like a go away from home and stuff like that, but well, that's what it is, that's my town, yeah, that's my town, yeah, my town city, Hagerstown, well anyways, let's come back to the, to the thing. When I was younger guys, I was always going to the Appalachian trails to walking around looking for you know for just being I think young and, and, and I'm trying to get you know, some kind of adventure or something I found this thing is called Indian co uh, Indian cucumber. I uh, eat it before uh, I got a long time. I don't see it the day I see it, but I was uh, I said well, okay I want to try to make use of episode for that. Or, well, you know, eventually I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring a lot of other stuff too, but this episode guys is gonna be especially just looking for, for that edible. That's how edible guys, they grow all the way through the Northeastern, uh, the uh, United States. And it's a small root. This called Indian cucumber. I don't know why, but it's actually, that's what it takes. Somebody like, feel like a chain that I showed the video last time or something like that. They come in to cut all the big stuff that I was here. Uh, I'm happy because I can cross all the way through to the forest without going in the water. And that's good because the water is high again today. I see it raining a little bit of the day, so the water get high again. So I cannot go through the uh, shoreline. But the good thing I can go through the here, guys. It's clean, finally, it's clean. I think somebody said, uh oh, somebody see the. <laughs> There and, and, and it's not clean, so for me it's good. I cannot go through all the stuff and get you know my my stuff, you know my arms and stuff. When the turns of the or the stuff you know get like a broken stuff. So well, guys, the, the water's high. That means maybe it can be a lot of bass. So I want to try for crappie again. If I see if I can get a crappie, but actually my mission today is looking for the uh, Indian cucumber. Oh, be very careful today. It's windy and I see a lot of widow makers. So. That can be dangerous for me if I walk to and you know on the bottom of them. So what is a widow maker? It's called a widow maker because that's what they do when they fall over a man. It's when it's a dead tree standing up and the tree was cut. So I see a lot of dead trees around guys and I have to be careful guys. Because if this dead tree guys falling over me, it's gonna be a big problem. I see something metal here. Hmm. Some kind of thing. Well guys, I can tell you something. That can be a good example. The what is a widow maker? Right here is a tree, a very tall tree. And this tree, guys, is just laying down right there. If someone is gonna move it, somebody can get hurt very well. You see right there, there's a widow maker too. It's a very tall tree, almost rotting at the bottom, almost falling down. And someone push this tree, and somebody is at the bottom. Bye bye, friend. So, uh, I'm gonna try to break it. Let's see. Okay, guys, that's a video maker right there. Oh, I threw it down, guys. Because somebody can come in around here and they can get hurt. So, it's better to put it down. Eventually, some other plants gonna grow on there, like a mushrooms and other stuff. So let's go, let's go. Well, guys, I was late. Like I say, something already eat this, or somebody already take it. You can see right there. 
these are the uh, crown mushroom and, and, and here's some of the crown mushroom that I found the other day I was let it, you know, let it go but like I see they already take it it's right there crown mushroom I can take it guys if I want but I want to let it grow I don't want to you know hurt the bottom of the or the or the you know the uh, fungus root so so I wanna you know I wanna try to you know leave it like it is. I think I did eat it right there. And I see some squirrels, so maybe some squirrels eat it because I can see some of the hickory nuts right there. Maybe the squirrel eat it. I'm not sure yet, but huh. well some of the crown the crown uh crown tip and mushrooms. Oh guys I see a mushroom over there. Let me go over there, let's see what it is. Alright guys, we found it finally for a long time. I see some patches before in other places like a Patuxi River. I never got a patch right here. I found it. That's a chicken of the woods. And actually, guys, you can eat those, that edible. I was making my research last time. And I found it wrong. The of the name in Latin is Laite La Laite Laite Porus Sulfurios. Como all is known as sulfur shells or chicken of the woods. Chicken of the woods or chicken or chicken fungus because it is often described as tasting like a, having a texture similar to the chicken meat. Well, guys, we found it. It's edible. You have to cook it, guys, and you have to be careful because if the tree is like like uh, got some kind of oils, they can you know absorb that kind of oils. You have to make sure it's a dead tree for a long time, and this tree is really dead for a long time, guys. So, you cook it very good, guys. You have to, you don't have to eat the whole mushroom. Some guys do, and that's what I'm gonna do. It's could use this oxide part right here, oxide part right here. I'm gonna try to not, you know, just take it off from the tree, you know, rip it up. No, it's gonna cut right here, right here, and right here. When I come back, because I'm gonna keep on looking, I don't want to take it. And when you know, go home, gonna get you know, mushy and stuff. So it's better to take it, guys, or cook it in the spot. If you can, if you try guys to just get it, you know, and, and don't cook it, you know, right away, can get mushy and ugly. So I'm gonna go fishing, I'm gonna go all those stuff, and maybe I come back for this later, or maybe not get nothing, guys. <laughs> Everything depends, guys, because, like I said, guys, maybe I can make my research good, but I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to, you know, you know, just take something, you know, and I don't even cook it. So let's go, let's go, it's so beautiful. Let's go, let's go, guys. How you know, guys, that nobody walk a trail before? Simple, guys. Let's go with spiders, okay? The spiders like to make a lot of wet around the uh, trails because they know it's gonna be a fly or something flying. And right now, I'm a, I'm a fool of these uh, small, you know, wets, you know? And I'm gonna looking for a wet that you can see. Like a right there, you can see a leaf right there hanging because it is, and yep, it is some kind of the, the uh, weather right here. You see, so it's possible. If you want to know if the thing is really, really, really new, and nobody go through the trail, you looking for the field, like you're touching a small wet, you know, it's, it's, it's small, small, small wet, you know, what the spiders make, and you're going to be sure. Then nobody cross the road or that trail. Why I saying this, guys? Be alert, guys. As many people get missing for stranger people around the country. It is a lot of people get missing. They don't come back home. Like I say, always be prepared. And if you can get armed with something, good too. Because that's allowed. And you know we are we got the right to bear arms so just be careful and <sighs> take care of yourself your family around like i said guys it's dangerous crazy people around the world and well, guys i got already walking like an hour maybe less an hour like a 35 minutes and i don't see nothing about the indian cucumber I can tell you something if i found it i'm gonna be surprised because I don't see nothing here. I'm walking through the forest. See if I can find it. Maybe not. Maybe they use a really, you know, native to Appalachian trails. The Appalachian mountains, but let's see. Oh, a bird. Okay. 
Let's go, let's go. Okay, guys. I think I'm gonna find it here. And the elevation is more high and I feel it's more humid here. And when you're looking for those guys, you have to look for something. This is a small little farm that's growing around the trees. Like this one here. I don't know what is connected with this fern, guys, but it's like a, some kind of fern. They're growing in the, in, the, in the ground, like you can see right there. I don't know the name, I'm gonna take a picture to see what it is. I'll tell you the name, when, when you find this kind of fern, you always found the Indian cucumber around, I don't know why. There's some kind of connection with them. So let's go, let's go. Because I got a name for this kind of fern. Oh, it's almost like a, some kind of relative or the species there is pine okay oh pr princess pine they call it north america dendrolycopodium oscurum synonym lycopodium oscurum commonly called a rare club moss ground pine or prime or princess pine in north america species of oh clu yeah club moss in the family the Lacopodiaceae, caea and its close relative the other species such as dendrodium and hikei also tree like so this is actually guys is like a some kind of pine tree they grow they grow on the in the in the they grow on the ground like that and i don't even know that so that's that's interesting the interesting part guys they always want to find this kind of uh, pine, <laughs> they grow on the ground. I always found the cucumber, the Indian cucumber. I don't know what they had to do with that. That's weird. Okay. Let me see. And the good thing, guys, or this, let me see if I see, got some kind of... Uh, Health benefits. Let me see if I got some health benefits. Don't say nothing. Maybe the Wikipedia. Okay, I always like to looking. I'm gonna keep on looking around. Maybe I found some of the uh, nickel cucumber around here. You say what it is. Uses in conservation. Historically, Dedrocopodium oscurum has been harvested from the wild for use for Christmas greens or reds and well at the use of spores for flash powder. Oh, this thing reproduced by spores. Okay. And now it's practical oxalates. The harvest of the oscurum has caused be contracted in several areas in land. Okay. Okay, that's good. Good to know, so don't harvest it. Cause nobody use it no more. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> yes, guys, yes, we found it, guys, we found it. And I found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Oh, well, guys, I researched the area. I just count 17 of the specimens. I don't want to tread this species if I did really it's a little bit this piece, it only happens one. It's I'm gonna show you the structure. And that's all guys. I'm not gonna even uh, give you the uh, location for this uh, plant because it's I think it's a threat by whatever people around try to harvest and eat it just because I do it. So well like you can see right there. I can't fuse a few of those. If I go inside more here, I can around, let me see, 17. It's no more than 17. So I, like I said, guys, I'm going to look for a good specimen. I'm going to take it out from the ground. I'm going to show you the root system. It's more right there. But like I said, guys, I want to this plant reproduce like a crazy. And Appalachian trails, guys, it's a lot of those things you can harvest. And there's not many here for what I see. So I'm not going to even try to eat it. Too many, just gonna try one, just for memories. And the rest of the plants, I'm gonna leave it alone. So I want to reproduce. Like I said, they like the shade, all the trees. 
I'm gonna try to even walk very slowly right here to do not damage the root system. So, okay, guys. Uh, looking around, like always, we're gonna harvest one, guys, one. And it's this one right here. We're gonna harvest, okay? This one right here, we're gonna harvest. Okay, okay, guys, when you're doing this, guys, do it slowly. Very slowly. I can see more. Okay, this reproduced by doing what I take it out right now. Root system. So that's why I don't want to harvest everything. So you go take it out slowly with a whole, all the parts at the bottom. You harvest all the way around. I know guys, it's a lot of work for a little bit. But that's what it is. You see right there? I got it one. Right there. I'm gonna put it to the side. I see you see here. If I'm gonna harvest the big one, I'm going to do it slowly. You take it out like that. Now, okay, guys. You see right there, we take out all the plant. I'm gonna try. Yep, right there, guys. That's the root system right there. I'm gonna put it back here. Try to Try to close it. Eh? So guys, okay, from the top, that's how that's how it look like, okay? There's no good uh, sample right here, but this is what it, this is what it look like. You got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me count again. I messed it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At least. And this one when really mature. When they're not mature yet, guys, they got a like a three or four. You can count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got a seven here. This is, so this is my short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is my short enough. One, seven. But this plant, guys, whoa, you know, going, growing very slowly. You can see right there. That's what it look like. They don't got no more of the teams. I'm not sure, guys. I never researched it very well about the fruit, if you can eat or not. I don't even try it. This is the seeds. Now we're gonna put it in the ground, this is the spot where we found it, to maybe grow more next year. I hope so. <laughs> I want to this plant reproduce like a crazy. Now guys, this is a root system. Okay, what you eat is this, the bottom part. I'm gonna put it back. I don't know, it's not, they're not gonna grow again, but, and let's put it back, whatever, you know. Put it back. Always put it back, guys, when you found stuff like that. That's what you eat, guys. You take out all this right here and you eat it. That is like, like, like I say, guys. You know what, guys? I'm gonna put this back. Small boat for next year, yeah. Next year, yeah. You, we we only have this one. Just put it back where it belongs to. Let the, the thing grow again. I hope so. They're really good, guys, if you eat it. Okay. I'll come back with you guys when I wash it. <laughs> I have to wash, wash it, it very well. well. Let's go back to memories. Ah, so good. I watch it when the water right there. Let's go. Let's go. Mm, 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 guys. Oh my God, so good. Mm, that tastes like a cucumber for real. Give me so good memories, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Well, guys, mission complete. Like I said, I found it in this patch right here, and it's wonderful that I found it. I'm going to try to know, show you the location because I want to this plant reproduce by themselves. I hope if you found that you enjoy one of those, just go to the roots, put it whatever back you can, the seeds, and let it grow, guys. Let it grow, let it grow. And, well, you know, this is Santa Gomez for you. My mission is done. Let's go fishing a little bit. Yo, there. Uh, Even I see some people, you know, walking around, look at it. They ask me what it is, I tell them, I tell them if they want to harvest, they can harvest. They say no, thank you. <sighs> okay guys, my wife don't give me an answer, so I'm not sure. So yeah, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna call her in an hour and see what she says, yes or not. <laughs> I know, she's scared, I understand that. You know, and yeah, let's see, possibilities, let's go, let's go.